Hello YouTube. The video today is about the SE junglers and the down under knives, the Outback. I own this knife from down under knives for quite a while already. And uh, lately I ordered the SE junglers. And I was pretty surprised <coughs> the time when I when I opened the package because the SC Jungler is actually not not that heavy, not that massive as I as I thought it is. I expected a big chunk of steel. But the blade is actually quite skinny. The blade is just five millimeters and with this high saber grind this area here will be very skinny. You see like that? It's just it's just about two millimeters. Quite skinny. And the down under knife. <laughs> this knife is actually a big chunk of steel. The blade is in the thickness a little bit above six millimeters. And with this hollow grind here, it's really a big heavy chunk of steel. If you compare these two knives with each other, you can see that they are both around the same length. But the down under knife got a longer blade and a shorter handle. The SE Jungler got a shorter blade and a longer handle. So this knife here, the down under knife, is really really front heavy really heavy and this junglers SE junglers knife it's actually more it's more a machete it's not that top heavy and, and, and all in all not that heavy like uh, like the down under knife and to be honest with you with this skinny blade here I don't think that I'm going to baton with it. I'm too I'm too scared that you that you might break the blade as we know it from the Ontario knife. Anyway, the the SC Junglers, the knife is a good quality. You can see it fits everywhere together, line and, and the handle lines up with the tang and everything. So all in all a good quality. The Outback is actually also a good quality. I can't really see any any issues on, on the knife. Well it is handmade, so you can see that it is made by hand. Yeah, but actually nothing, no issues actually. And the mirror polish is also a good, real good mirror polish. So all in all, also good quality. But uh, the sheath of the knife is a little bit different. So for example, the sheath of the SC Jungler is actually really good quality. There's nothing I can't I can't see any quality issues. Quite a nice sheet. And the lock works well. But the quality of the of the sheet of the, the outback knife is not the best. 
I mean, you can see maybe already that the the seams here, the stitches, yeah, folded the leather a little bit. Doesn't look really nice. And uh, the stitches right here became a little bit loose. And what I also don't like is that this belt loop here looks actually quite uh, small, looks a little bit weak. I would expect the belt loop to be a little bit bigger to handle the weight of the knife. What I don't like with this uh, sheath is actually that you don't have any attachments here to, uh, to put a string around your leg because if you pull the knife out the whole sheath comes with it so nothing, nothing holds it down yeah, it would be nice to have an attachment here and this little sharpen, this little sharpen rod here this is not a diamond rod, it's just a, a normal sharpening steel and uh, the quality of this one is also not that good you got some scratches here right here in the in this uh, sharpening rod and these scratches are yeah they they will m maybe damage your your edge so i actually don't use it so i would say all in all the knives are good both are good quality but uh, the sheath not and this leather sheath holds the knife with a lot of tension it won't come off so if you want to pull it out you got a lot of force and without the attachment to the leg the whole leather sheath will come with the knife okay anyway let's have a look for the weight of this knife So the outback is around 794 gram. That's really heavy for for blade for knife. A lot of machetes don't have that weight, you know. <laughs> and the SE Junglas is around 638 grams. So a lot less. So let's have a look how sharp these knives are. Well, it's razor sharp, no problem about that. It's not that sharp as a, as a Mora knife is, but uh, for a heavy chopping knife like this one, you don't need a ridiculous sharp knife. That's enough. And let's have a look for the outback. Well, I would say the Outback is a little bit sharper than the SC Junglers, but 
not much, it's almost the same. Okay, YouTube. So, all in all, I would say they are both very beautiful knives. The SC Jungler is, from my point of view, more more a machete type of, of knife, and the the Outback knife is just a big, heavy chunk of steel, really top heavy, and it feels in your hand a lot more, a lot more heavy than the than the SC Jungler. Okay, YouTube. Thank you for watching and uh, please check out the other videos on my channel and I'll see you in the next one.